In their struggle for freedom, the babies' liberation movement has seized on a revolutionary new idea from France. Perdue's baby slips. One of the most appealing commercials ever made. It helped make Perdue's a market leader in disposable nappies. But last month, the company admitted these nappies contained traces of the deadly poison dioxin. They're now being withdrawn from the shelves and replaced with what the company calls an environmentally safe product. Right on. But concern about nappies is only part of a much wider problem. There's increasing scientific evidence from Sweden and America that a whole range of everyday paper products are also contaminated with one of the most deadly toxic materials known to man. Bleached the writing paper, bleached the carton used in the milk, coffee filter, cigarette paper, the bleached diapers, uh, the bleached the latest tampons. So people are coming into contact with dioxin contaminated products every day? More or less, yes. In Britain, no results of tests for dioxin contamination in household disposable goods have ever been published. So World in Action has taken six of the most widely available found in any supermarket for analysis. Goods like coffee filters and tampons, tea bags and sanitary towels, disposable nappies and toilet paper. The results of our exclusive tests, British goods do contain dioxin, the result of a bleaching process which many scientists believe is completely unnecessary. Gothenburg in Sweden. In the last 18 months, there's been a consumer revolution in the high streets. Millions have turned away from the bleached disposable goods we take for granted in Britain. They're refusing to buy products once advertised as being whiter than white. What sort of toilet rolls do you sell in the supermarket? We've got this unbleached paper, and then we've got this bleached paper. Which of these toilet rolls do you sell the most of, bleached or unbleached? We sell, we sell most of the unbleached one. That's what the people want. Swedish consumers are rejecting the traditional bleached products because of scientific reports claiming they pose a risk to their own health and that of the environment. The fishing village of Bua, 60 miles south of Gothenburg. It was in this remote setting that the first scares about dioxin came to the surface in Scandinavia. Locals have lived off the fishing industry for more than a century. Each morning they set out to trawl for cod and herring.